The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, ninth chapter, text number thirty-four, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in December of nineteen sixty-six in New York. Manmana bhavadhapta madhyadi maanamaskuru. मामी व ऐश्वर्य सोम किया जितने मां भक्तराय दिस लो दिस वर्ष ये आप अलग ही किन्हीं द कंक्लुशन ऑफ द नाइन चैप्टर ऑफ सिनर भगवत गीता दैट द लॉर्ड सेव दैट मन मना भगवान भक्त जस ऑल एस थिंक ऑफ मी जस्ट बीता मैं बहुत ही एंड इफ वॉन्ट टू वॉर सी जस्ट वॉर टू मी एंड दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस इट इज नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट एवरी वन कैन एग्जीक्यूट टू थिंक ऑफ गॉड टू ऑफर सम ऑफिस टू गॉड एंड to be to serve something to render some service and to gain and uh, just to become a party of god that's that that's like we identify uh, everyone identifies uh, to some part either politically socially or religiously economically that we have got so many fields of activity But in each and every field, we have got a party feeling. We cannot have that. In political field, oh, you have got so many parties. Even in your own country, even there are democratic party or conservative party, and this party, that party. Now, worldwide is also oh, the capitalist party, the communist party. In, in our country also, there is Congress party. The party is already there. Uh, the socially also, oh, you are Christian, I am Jew, I am Hindu. Of course, this is religiously. And socially also, in India there is very social party. Uh, so you cannot avoid this partyism. Uh, all the ladies and gentlemen who are uh, present here. I ask you, do you do you not belong to any party? Can you deny that I don't belong to any party? Oh, everyone belongs to some party. Now, spiritual is a spiritual is means that we should identify ourselves as God's party. That that is spiritual. So. They ask so many things. Then why is the materialist are called crazy by the spiritualist? Or oh, that is also partyism. The materialist also call and uh, uh, say to the spiritualist that crazy. Ah, that say we are we have formed some society of Krishna consciousness, and and those who do not like it, they say we are crazy fellows. We are assembly of crazy. And uh, similarly, we call others who do not associate with us as crazy. Ah, so there is ah, we have little pamphlet, booklet. Who is crazy? Now, how to decide? You are thinking the family and the party they are crazy, and we are thinking those who are materially engaged are crazy. Now, how to decide? Can you suggest uh, any way how to decide it? How who is crazy? Who is decide? Uh, everyone says the two parties, and uh, when there is something and uh, disagreement, the two parties say that you are in wrong. The other party is saying so. Then who decide? That who is wrong? Can you suggest any one of you who decide? The world is. Are 
are going on in partisanship, and each opposite party is thinking that the other party is crazy. Now we decide who is actually crazy. The actual then we have come to the uh, point of reason. Uh, he is crazy. Uh, now just see it. Uh, take any common man. Not yourself, not myself. Any common man. If you ask him that what you are, uh, he will say his conception is that I am this one. Everyone will say. He will give you some description that I am Christian, I am Hindu, or I am Mr. Such and Such, I am Mrs. Such and Such, everything, whatever he or she will say, that is all due to this body. All due to this body. Everyone. Uh, when you say you are American, so that means this is this body, because by accident, by something, or uh, uh, by some reason, you are born in this uh, land of America. Uh, that is also another artificial land. The land is neither America nor India. The land is land. But we give some designation. This is America. We make some boundary. This is United States America. This is Canada. This is Europe. And this is Asia. This is India. So this is our man. But actually, was there any history that the land is American or the land? Say, 400 years before or 500 years before, was this land as known as America? You have named it America. Say, so some thousands of years before, uh, uh, was this, uh, uh, this uh, the continent which is known as uh, Europe? Uh, can you trace out history that it was known as Europe? Uh, they are all designations. Uh, just like we can say from historical point of view, a Vedic literature, this whole world was known as Ilavati Varsha. Ilavati Varsha. And later on, since the uh, reign of one great king, emperor, his name was Bharat, and he changed name into his own name, Bharatvarsha. So this whole planet was now Bharatvarsha. Then as the days go on, and the, some part of this world was, oh, I mean to say, separated from the original Bharatvarsha, and it was called Europe. Or some other place. Just like we have got practical experience even in this age that India, uh, say about um, 20 years before, uh, the area of India is including Burma, Ceylon, and the modern Pakistan and everything. Now it is separated. Now they are calling this is Pakistan. And somebody is calling that is Ceylon. So this process is going on. Actually, uh, the land is neither Bharatvarsha nor Asia nor America nor India, but we give this name. Because that with the change of time, with the change of influence, uh, they are all designated. Uh, Fifty years before, when some of you, of course, not, uh, not all of you, uh, uh, fifty years old, say forty years before, or thirty-five years before, when you are or twenty-five years before, when you are not born, can you say what was the designation? Uh, were you American or Indian or Chinese or Russian? Can you say? Say after getting this, out, getting out of this body, do you think that you will continue as American or Indian or Chinese or Russian? Uh, suppose you are now in uh, America, in the land of America. The next life you may be in China. Who can say? Because we are changing our body. You cannot say that we are not changing our body. Can you say that you are not changing your body? Yes, you are changing. When I was born, 
from the mother's home. My body was so little. Now how I have changed my... Where is that body? Where is that body when I was a child? Where is that body when I was born? Where is that body when I was young man? Uh, I have got my photograph, the, my students see. Oh, Swami, you are like this. Where is that body? Where is that body? So, we are changing, but I am the same man. Uh, I am thinking, oh, in my childhood I was doing like this. Oh, in my youthhood I was thinking like this. In my boyhood I did so many things. Uh, uh, now where do those days gone? With my body, everything has gone up. <coughs> it is simply remembered. <coughs> but still we are sticking to this body. And when I ask uh, you, or when you ask me what you are, I say something in relationship with this body. Are you not crazy? Can you tell any, any of you that you are not crazy? If you, uh, I, I mean, so far your identification is concerned, if you identify uh, with something which you are not, <clears throat> then are you not crazy? Are you not crazy? So everyone who identifies with this body is a crazy man. He is a crazy man. It is a challenge to the world. Anyone who claims God's property, God's land, God's art as own property, he is a crazy man. This is a challenge. Let anyone establish that this is his property, this is his body. You are simply, uh, by nature, you are, by the freaks of nature, you are put into some place, you are put under some body, you are put under some consciousness, and you are dictated by the laws of nature, and you are mad after uh, that. So everyone, prakita kriyamanani, vinay karmani sarvasa, ahankar vimuratma kattahaniti vannate. Prakita kriyamanani. Everyone is being pulled by the ear, just like a teacher takes the pull the ear of a student and does like this. Similarly, we, every one of us, under the complete process of the material nature, and we are being forced, sometimes this body, sometimes that body. Now, fortunately, we have got human form of body. Oh, but they, don't you see? There are so many bodies, so many bodies, there are eight million four hundred thousand of bodies. And by the laws of nature, by the freaks of nature, you can be put into any kind of body according to your want. So you are complete under the grip of nature. This time, fortunately and unfortunately, I have got this human form of life. But next time I may get the body of a dog or the body of a god. That will depend on my work. But the laws of nature is working. Uh, the laws of nature or the material nature is forcing me that you accept it. You cannot say, oh, that after my death let me uh, have my birth in America. Oh, how can you say? You are not authority. You are not authority. So this is uh, stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Prakita Kriyamani Gunai Karmani Sarvasa Ahankar Vimuratma Pattaham Niti Mannate. Everything is being uh, conducted by the supreme laws of nature, but the foolish man thinks uh, that I am something, I am independent. This is foolish. Ahankar Vimuratma. Ahankar. Is false egoism. Ahankar means false egoism. What is that false egoism? That I am not this body and I think I am this body. This is called false egoism. Therefore, Sankaracharya, uh, I mean to say, he preached his mission that you are not this body. You are spirit soul. Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. Now, it's still. 
when we try to realize ourselves, self-realization, there also foolishness or the dictation of the maya or the illusion of energy continues. What is that? Somebody is trying to realize itself, I am not this body. He understands that I am not this body, I am spirit soul. Then, if you are spirit soul, then what is your position? Oh, why? Impersonal. Spirit soul, that means voidness. Oh, there is nothing after finishing this body. Oh, this voidness. Oh. There are philosophers who preach voidness. After this finishing this body, there is nothing. And other philosophers, impersonalists, they say that as soon as this body is finished, my personal identity is finished. Do you think like that? Is it possible? Uh, so long I am in this body, this body is not actual I am. It is just like a vehicle, just like you are sitting in a car. The car is moving according to your desire. Not that uh, the car is uh, moving independently. So, when you are in the car, so you are moving the car according to your desire, right or left or this, this road or that road. Suppose if, her, if you are out of the car, do you think that your personality is gone? Is it any reason? So this body is just like a car. It is said in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, Brahman Sarvahutani Jantra Rurhani Maya. Maya has placed you in this car because you wanted a, 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 this sort of car. Just like you have got in your practical experience. Uh, somebody has got better car, somebody has got, and, and it is an inferior car, somebody has got class, but they are moving. Similarly, these different bodies, they are like car, and they are moving. Now, suppose you are out of the car, either from the truck or from the uh, Rolls Royce car or Chevrolet uh, car or Ford car, do you think that your personality is finished? Because you are out of the car, then how can you say that when you are out of this body, your personality is finished? What is your reason? So this is another craziness. Ah. Just see how craziness follows. Ah. Why? Why why? I am so much intelligent. I am doing, I am planning so much because my body is free, therefore everything becomes void. This void philosophy was contracted, contradicted by this one. No, there is not void, there is spirit. Now, with that spirit, when one comes to that spiritual self-realization out of this body, when if, if he still finds that advance in spiritual knowledge, then he'll see what is my spiritual duty. What is my spiritual work? That is sanity. What is my spiritual work? Oh, sanity. That is sanity. I cannot be void. I cannot lose my individuality and personality. That is nonsense. How can I? So long I am sitting in this body, or take the same crude example, so long I am sitting on the car, I am displaying so much individuality uh, and so much discrimination as soon as there is a red signal, I stop my car. And there is a blue signal, a green signal, I start my car. I am using my consciousness, I am working, and simply by getting down from the car, I lose everything. I become what? What is this nonsense? No. There is neither voidness nor impersonal. The Bhagavad Gita does not agree to that. In the second chapter you have uh, read that Krishna, Lord Krishna says that Arjuna, 
myself, yourself, and all these persons who have come here to fight with one another. They were individual selves before, they are individual selves now, and they will continue to be individual selves in the future. So don't be uh, mad that we shall not fight. They are I mean, this identity, spiritual identity will continue. Uh, and to make you understand, a very simple example was set before us, John, that Dehi Nasmin Jatha Dehi Komarum Jorubhanam Jara Tatha Dehantanam Prati Dhira Satranam Yatu. My dear John, just like the living spark, the living self, is within this body from the womb of the mother. It is uh, developing when after the father's mother's combination there is a form of body just like a pea, and then that pea-like form develops within the womb of the mother. And after ten months there is no more space in the womb of the mother. So the child comes out and again grows. So the, the growth of the body is going on, or the change of the body is going on. Dehinas ah. means jatha dehi. Dehi means in this body. And dehi means the, the person who is within this body. Ah. He is there from that sea like form because my form, my uh, measurement is so small that we cannot see. It is not possible. It is ten thousand, one ten thousand part of the uh, tip of the hair. It is so small. So with our material eyes, our material, material conception, we cannot see the soul. But the soul is there. And the proof is, evidence is, because the soul is there, therefore the pea-like form material body is growing. Uh, wherever there is growth, there are six symptoms of presentation of presence of the soul. Ah. Growth is one of the important. So growth, as soon as the soul is out of this body, no more growth. If the child comes dead, ah, there is no growth. Ah. The parents will say it is useless, throw it. So similarly, ah, the, uh, Lord Krishna gave this first example to uh, Arjo that uh, uh, don't think that the spiritual spark which is within the body, uh, due to whose presence the body is growing uh, from childhood to boyhood, boyhood to youthhood, from youthhood to old age. So the, when this body becomes useless, imperceptibly, the soul uh, uh, gives up this body, Vāsāṁsi jinnāni jathāvyāya, just like we give up old dress and take another new dress, Similarly, we accept another body. And we accept that another body not according to my selection. That selection depends on the law of nature. That selection depends on the law of nature. You cannot say at the time of death. But you can, you can think of, you can say that, uh, I mean to see individuality, and that selection is all there. Yangyangabhati smaran leke, maran smaran loki tajatante kalibaram. Just at the time of your death, your mentality, if you have a thoughts will develop, you will get the next part according to that body. So the intelligent man who is not crazy, he should understand that I am not this body. First thing. I am not this body. Then he will understand that what is his duty. Uh, as spirit soul, what is his duty? His duty is that is stated in the uh, Bhagavad Gita, in the last verse of the uh, ninth chapter. The duty is manmanabhava. Uh, you are thinking something. Every one of us embodies, we think something. Without thinking, for a moment you cannot stay. That is not possible. Ah. This is the duty. You think of Krishna. 
He thinks of Krishna. You have to think something. Now what is the harm if you think of Krishna? Oh. Krishna has caused so many activities, so many little attacks, and so many things. Krishna comes here, and we have got volumes and volumes of books. If you want to think of Krishna, we can supply you so many little attacks that you cannot finish with your whole life. If you twenty-four hours wait, oh. so thinking of Krishna, then sufficient. Oh. Think of Krishna. Manmana Bhava. Oh, I can think of you. Oh. Just like uh, a person who is uh, serving some boss, uh, he is always thinking of uh, that boss, oh, I have to attend that at nine o'clock, uh, the boss will be uh, displeased. Uh, he is thinking for some purpose. Uh, that sort of thinking will not be. Then therefore he says, Bhavamad Bhakta. He just think of me with love. When the master, when the when the, when the, when the servant thinks of the master, he there is no love. He is thinking for palm ceiling pants. Uh, there is because if I if I do not attend my office just at nine o'clock, uh, there will be late and I can lose two dollars. Therefore, he is thinking of not of the master. He is thinking of that palm ceiling pants. So that sort of thinking will not. Same. Therefore, he says, Bhava Madh Bhakta. Ah. He just become my devotee. Then the thinking of me will be nice. Ah. And what is that? Ah, bhakti, Madh Bhakta, devotional. Devotion means service. Madh Jaji. You render some service to the law. Ah. Just we are, we are engaged here. Ah. Ah. All else. Whenever you come, you will find us uh, engaged in some duty. So you are manufacturing some duty. Just to think of Krishna only. Therefore, our society's name is Krishna Consciousness, Society for Krishna Consciousness. We have got so many literatures where each and every boy is engaged. Uh, somebody is printing, somebody is writing, somebody is typewriting, somebody is dispatching, somebody is attending letters, somebody is cooking. Twenty-four hours. Ah, we are thinking of Krishna. How? Because we are engaged in the duties of Krishna. So, Madhyaji, Maha Namaskuru, and what is the duty? If you have no obedience, ah, you have to obey. That is your Namaskuru. You offer your respect. So, bhakti minus respect, ah, there is not bhakti. With love, with respect, with designated duty. If you be engaged in Krishna consciousness, then your life will be successful. Uh, not identifying falsely with this material body and engage yourself with all sorts of nonsense. That will never make you happy. Uh, the same thing. That therefore, what is the difference between materialism and spiritualism? Uh, the same typewriter is there. The same dictaphone is there, the same mimeograph machine is there, the same paper is there, same uh, hand ink is there, the same hand is there, everything is same, but everything is done for Krishna's account. That's all Krishna. This is spiritual. Don't think spiritual is in something. Uncommon. You can turn the whole material world into spiritual religion. If you simply become Krishna conscious, this is the Thank you very much.